guys, so I'm going to show you all how I flat iron my hair. So I use my Baby Bliss Pro Nano Titanium Flat Iron and the degrees that I used was 375 degrees. I felt that was a nice setting for my hair. I have been wanting this flat iron for a pretty long time so I'm happy that I was able to purchase it. I purchased mine from Ulta and it does go higher than 375 degrees. You can adjust the temperature on the side and as you can see it has really nice smooth plates. And I like the plates on the flat iron because it doesn't snag your hair and it does a great job with smoothing out your curls. So I use the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Conditioning Line and Cheese Silk Infusion for my leave-in. And I conditioned and shampooed my hair and I deep conditioned my hair and I will have details in the description box how I prep my hair. But the most important part to me for a flat ironing your hair is the blow drying part. You really have to make sure that you blow dry your hair really well so you do not put that much direct heat on it. And I do have a blow drying tutorial on my channel. I will have the link in the description box as well. So as you can see, I'm just brushing out any tangles that I may have after I tension blow dry my hair. And then I'm adding more chi to my hair so I can have more protection. And the chi just does a great job with smoothing the hair and it smells good and it gives your hair a really nice shine as well. So now I'm gonna section my hair again because I wanna prep my hair for the flat ironing portion of it. So I make smaller sections. So you're just gonna see me go through and smooth my hair a little bit more chi. And then I take really small sections with my rat tail comb starting at the end. And this is the only time you will see me use a comb is when I'm wearing my hair straight because I need a really smooth, um, you know, I want my hair to be really smooth when I'm doing this. So I'm doing the chase method as I'm flat ironing my hair. There are plenty of videos on YouTube describing this method, but basically as you can see, I'm just taking the flat iron and then I'm chasing the flat iron with the comb. That way I do not have frizzy ends. It helps a lot when you do this. And I'm not trying to get my hair bone straight, but I do want it straight. So I'm just going down again. My hair is really long, so you cannot see the entire length of the hair. I do apologize for that, but um, I hope you guys get the picture of it. And again, I do the same thing and I just take my time. And it took me about four and a half to five hours to do my hair from start to finish. So that's one of the reasons you do not see me flat iron my hair a lot. Uh, for the heat, you know, I do not want to get heat damage and I didn't get heat damage after I did my hair this way because it is curly again if you see my recent photos or my last Mahogany Curls live video. But that and it just takes too long for me to do it. So now I'm all done as you can see and my hair is straight, it's smooth, it feels very silky to me. I love the way it feels, it's not too weighed down. I don't like to use a lot of heavy product. So I trimmed my ends. Just lightly dusted my ends. You do not have to do this, but I wanted to because I saw a few ends that were not that even and it's okay, I didn't trim much. So this is all I did. And I just snipped a few inches away. And that is it. And I just go through to ensure that everything is even on my ends. And I basically did it all over again, you know, to trim each portion of it. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you all later on this week. And I hope you have a wonderful week and weekend. Bye.